here we have a data mapper get account details we will use this data mapper in our app to define our data mapper name hello everyone in this video we will see how to call data mapper from apex in omni studio standard designer to call a data mapper from apex we need to use connect api which is part of salesforce implementation it provide classes and inner classes that help interact with omni studio data mapper here we have a data mapper get account details which will return our account based on our account id so its input is the account id which we need to pass this we will use this data mapper in our apex let's move to our apex code so calling a data mapper from from apex generally involve about 80% common steps and the remaining 20% varies based on your use case such as different inputs or handling the response differently a data mapper usually require two things as an input one is input actual data you want to pass another is the options in return it gives an output our step one is to define our data mapper name our data mapper name is a get account detail which we are assigning the value to data mapper name variable our step second is a create an input map in this we need to make a map that contains the input for our data mapper even if your data mapper doesn't require input you still need to make an input map in our case we need to pass account id value so we are putting account id in input map our step 3 is to prepare the connect api input now connect api provides the inner class named data mapper execute input representation here we are making the object of data mapper execute input representation it's a apex input now in this class object we can set two properties one is the data mapper input another is the options so let's focus on the data mapper input first the apex input object which we just made will accept the input as a list of strings so first we need to make a list of strings now the input map which we made earlier in step 2 will be serialized and it will come in string format after that this then we will add this serialized input map into our string list and then assign this string list to the apex input object in the apex input object there is a property data mapper input which we will use there now step 4 is to provide the options configuration here connect api provides inner class named data mapper execute option representation here you can configure the data mapper options like a locale based on your requirements even if you don't want to pass any options configuration but it is essential to make a options object and set that options object in the apex input in the apex input there is a one property options which you can use there now our last step we need to execute the data mapper so to executing the data mappers connect api giving the methods like omni to omni designer connect and there is a method execute data mapper this method set two arguments one is the data mapper name other is the apex input the data mapper name which we made a variable in step one and the apex input which we made in the step three it will return the output to hold the output the contact api connect api provide the class like data mapper execute output representation so here the response is returned as a list of json string our dm response is stored in the response property so of the output object so it will return a list of strings so we are storing the our response in the list of string in the response and we are logging our that in response value so let's execute there so we open the execute anonymous window and we are executing our method here you can see the log open we check the debug only and you can see that it is returning the account details name id so that's all in this video Thank you.